Hello and welcome to Mead Week. On this edition, a preview of the Army Field Band Summer Concert Series, Did Fos Marine support Karen Klein? The Garden Club sponsors the Yard of the Year competition. All these stories and more. But first, the installation is all set to celebrate the 4th of July on Wednesday at Constitution Park in McLaughlin Parade Field. The annual celebration is, as always, open and free to the public. Festivities start at noon and last through the fireworks show, which should conclude about 10 p.m. You can expect all the usual suspects, food vendors, games, rides, and more. Entertainment includes the band New Monopoly. They'll be performing from 12.30 to 5.30. Additionally, Mix 106.5 will be broadcasting live from the parade field. There are a few rules. Pets, grills, and glass containers are a no-no. For more information about Fort Meade's 4th of July celebration, just go to www.ftmead.mwr.com. While the 4th of July is the single largest community event of the season, the annual U.S. Army Field Band Summer Concert Series is probably just as eagerly anticipated. The various components of the field band are constantly touring across the nation and the globe. We spoke with Sergeant First Class Erica Russo and Alto in the Soldiers Chorus about performing in front of the home audience and what we can expect this year. When you're on tour, you get to perform for hundreds and thousands of Americans that you've never seen before and bring them a slice of music that hopefully they're very receptive to and they haven't heard. But when you're here, you get to perform for your family and your friends and for the Fort Meade community. And here we get to bring it directly to them. The Concert Band and Soldiers Chorus this year is um, providing uh, the enlisted leaders an opportunity to conduct the ensemble. So that will be totally fun. First concert is the Concert Band and Soldiers Chorus. The second concert, the next Saturday, is the Jazz Ambassadors, America's Big Band. And then the third of those concerts is the Volunteers, which is our pop rock band. And then the fourth and final concert of the series brings everybody back together. Definitely look forward to it because we work with so many great people, but we don't necessarily always get to work together. In other news, if you're connected to the world of YouTube and viral videos, then you've probably heard of Karen Klein, an elderly school bus monitor from upstate New York. A video showing Ms. Klein suffering the verbal taunts and abuse of a group of middle school students fueled outrage across the country. The original video of the incident is in the millions of views. While we often get upset about what's reported in the media, most of us don't do much about it. Well, a group of Marines from the Defense Information School Student Detachment released this video in response last week. Uh, good evening, I'm Private Smith. I'm a public affairs Marine stationed here at Fort Meade, and uh, these are a few of my fellow Marines stationed here as well. Uh, we just want to offer out our support to Ms. Karen Klein. Uh, we saw the video of what happened to you, Ms. Klein, and uh, I'd just like to say that nobody deserves that. The Marine Corps has a zero tolerance policy on hazing and bullying, and we feel that everybody else should adopt that policy as well. So, uh, Ms. Klein, we have your back. Hoorah! Hoorah! After more than 20,000 views of their video, it was picked up by the local ABC News affiliate. We spoke with ringleader Marine Corps Private Kobe Smith and Private Gerardo Meza about what prompted them to make the video and their views on hazing and verbal abuse. I thought all day long how I could make a difference or how I could uh, express my opinion of what happened, my viewpoint. And then I saw the webcam on my laptop and I was like, oh, I can just make a video real quick expressing how I feel and post it to YouTube. And uh, that's what I ended up doing. Kind of forced them to watch the video of what happened to Miss Klein. I was like, uh, guys, it's really important to me. I was like, listen, just, just look at this. And then after you see this video, I trust, I promise you that you're going to want to help me. I did not hear about it, but um, Private Smith told me about that. Um, he showed us the video, and he got us together and asked us to do a video and um, support, and that's what we did. It's amazing. I, I know the website that's uh, doing the fundraising for her. The goal was to send her on a $5,000 vacation, and uh, it, since then it's just skyrocketed. And um, I think it's great. And uh, forget a vacation. I mean, I think it'd be amazing if we could retire this woman. So far, more than $500,000 has been raised on behalf of Ms. Klein. Meanwhile, the Mead Area Garden Club, in conjunction with Pacern Military Housing, is sponsoring the annual Yard of the Year competition. The judging takes place next week, Tuesday, July 10th, starting at 8.30 in the morning. Yards will be judged on a variety of factors, including neatness, use of flowers and plants, use of color, healthiness of plantings, and overall impression of the area. Once again, the Yard of the Year judging takes place July 10th in Pacern Military Housing. Finally this week, a quick reminder from the Garrison Chaplain's Office. Registration for this year's Vacation Bible School is going on now through July 23rd. The school is scheduled for August 6th through the 10th. Registration is limited to the first 200 children. So stop by the Argonne Hills Chapel Center on Rockenbach Road to sign up. That's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.